Hello, and today we are talking about the marriage lines. It is still a much talked about subject in palmistry, even though modern palmists find it very unreliable, and that is because there are many factors that come into it. But I want to talk about the traditional meanings of the marriage line today. Those lines, they are also called relationship lines, line of affection, line of union, line of commitment, line of attachment. They all have the same meaning. They don't necessarily mean a marriage as in a contract, which a marriage is a legal contract. A marriage can be one that two couples are together as if they were married as well. So the length of the line, well, obviously you find them under the pinky. The length of the line shows the duration of the affection. So that's the first thing I will point out. And on the side of the palm under the pinky, so a long single line shows a marriage or union that is long lasting. It doesn't necessarily tell you the quality of the relationship. Although marks on that line can depict the quality. So if it is a very marked line, that is a stressful, bad marriage in my opinion. But that doesn't, I'll just cross them out, that doesn't uh, often happen because if somebody marries somebody they don't marry them because they don't get along. So so the depth of the line shows how deep is the love. So let's pretend we're going to draw a deeper line. It's going to be not going to look that deep on a real hand but I'm just going to show you an example of say a fine line and a deep line. So the depth of the line shows that is a deep love. The light and short line mainly shows a casual or short-term union. However, that affection might not be there. In such cases um, as arranged marriages or that of convenience such as someone who marries for money. So it can still be a marriage that lasts for a long time but the affection might have run out. That is especially true if it's a short line. That short line, the first one I just drew, that can still depict the marriage that lasts, you know, 28, 30 years, but maybe the affection didn't last as long. And then in the end, the marriage ends up um, losing its, losing its um, love, so to speak. Mostly though, the longer the line, the longer the affection lasts. I do have um, quite a lot to say, but I'm not going to do the, all of it on this one video, but I'm just giving you an example. Next, we talk about the timing. So if there is a line in the middle, that is an average age of 35 is when the person might marry or become attached or in love with someone. However, one single line in the middle can also denote a long and devoted marriage that starts at an early age. I have spoken to couples who are in their 60s and 70s, they've been married all their life since they were like 18 or 20 and they have one single line in the middle. So this is why I say that timing is unreliable. What really counts most is the length of the line. For instance, in this picture, they may meet someone at 21 and it doesn't turn out to be soulmate per se. You could say the word soulmate, I suppose. And later on, they meet somebody else and they marry at around age 35, which lasts a very long time, being a long line. 
So as you can see by these lines, they are confusing, but you can compare your own lines and see what you think. And uh, welcome to Let Me Know. Thanks very much. Thank you.